Hello and welcome. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. I am Carly. This is my channel, Sunshiny Soul and Tarot. Today's messages are for Aquarius. Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, any strong placement of Aquarius in your chart. Um, we're also building to the new moon, which will be, whoops, in Pisces on uh, March 10th. And that will open the pre-eclipse doorway. We're going to go ahead and take that one as your overall energy. Um, thank you for the likes, subscribes, and comments. They do make a difference for the channel. Also, all my services are listed below. All right, Aquarius, your card came flying out. So your overall energy is the koi fish. There is always enough. And if you think of a koi fish, it's quite lucky. Um, it's known as, you know, to bring luck, to bring prosperity. It's this beautiful gold color. So this is a reminder for you, Aquarius, that there are no limits. The only limits that you have are most likely in your mind, in, you know, the perspective and understanding from your humanness. And um, when you look at the universe and abundance, there really are no limits. So where have you been limiting yourself? Where have you been um, kind of taking away your power a little bit by having some of these limits or thinking that, um, you know, there isn't enough or that things, you know, can only be this way or that way, you know, you are being guided here to remember there is always enough. There is no scarcity unless you believe there to be scarcity. So where can you shift your thoughts and your thinking to allow in more abundance, more good luck, um, more of this gold, you know, energy here that I'm seeing on this beautiful koi fish. And as we move into eclipse season, you are going to be letting go of things that don't serve you anymore. So remember, letting go of one thing creates an opening for something new and better. So it's, it's a process and a movement of energy. So, okay, let's get the other cards out. Um, I'm being called to kind of do a different spread today. So I'm going to pull six cards um, and then clarify as needed. Okay, Oop, first one is out. Okay, Aquarius. First up, we've got three of wands came flying out. We've got six of wands and we've got king of swords. So I really love this energy for you, Aquarius. There is the, the, the three of wands. There is an opening for opportunity. There is an opening for some of that abundance to come in and you're going to be celebrating here. Um, Six of Wands is very much about celebration, uh, connecting with your community, having the love and support of your community. Maybe you've been limiting yourself of, of where you allow in that love and support from those around you, and you're ready to really embrace that and to open, open that up. And you're just going to be, I just see this flood of love and support and friendship and connection uh, either coming back in if you've been a little bit disconnected or a little bit um, like hermit mode lately, that's going to be opening up and there's going to be a flood of support and friendships and just like I said, love and connection and community. And there's a lot of opportunity with that. So people around you and in your community, Aquarius, um, I see a willingness and a desire to help, to support and to give. And a little bit of your lesson here is to receive. Remember, there is always enough, but you've got to be open to receiving that, to allowing that to come in. King of Swords, that is your energy. So I really love that you, Aquarius, are showing yourself as um, your strongest energy, the King of Swords. There's clarity. There is direction. There is um, like power in, in your energy to have what it is that you want. Look at, there's one sword. The King of Swords does not spread themselves thin. They are focused. They are clear. And they allow in the abundance. Look at, he, this character is just on their throne receiving but they have their sword ready to cut out anything that's not in alignment, anything that's not in the highest good for you. So a little bit of a message for you there, Aquarius, of allowing yourself to cut out what's not resonating, what is not in alignment with your highest vision of your life and letting go of scarcity or fear of letting something go that it possibly might not be replaced or you may be left empty handed. That is all beliefs. Okay. So 
cut out those beliefs, Aquarius, that aren't serving because you are like the free thinker and the creative thinker of the zodiac. So there is always an opportunity. There is always an opening. There's always something new that can be uh, manifested, created, desired, etc. Okay, so get into your flow. Next up, we've got the uh, Hermit card, Page of Cups, and Five of Cups. So with the Hermit card here, and the Hermit energy is actually facing away from the other cards. So to me, that is a message that this lantern, this lesson that the Hermit is bringing in for you, you've already been working on. You've already been working on letting go of, you know, looking at the past. When you look at the way... I'm just going to show you the way these three cards. So the hermit has the back turned, and I'm especially noticing how the back is turned to the five of cups here. Five of cups can be a card of disappointment, looking at what was lost, what didn't work out, all these spilled cups here. And I am interpreting this hermit with the back turned here that you have recognized when you do this, Aquarius, you recognize when you're looking back or you're disappointed or you're going over things that didn't work out the way you wanted and you lose your power that way. So with the hermit not engaging in this type of activity, you naturally, Aquarius, are going to lift your, your shoulders, lift your head, and you're going to notice these two beautiful cups fully intact behind you. So it's a change in perspective that is coming through for you, which is really, really beautiful. So allow that change of perspective to come in with a new perspective. You've got to let go of the old one, right? That's part of the transfer of energy. And with the Page of Cups energy, as you do this, you are going to be feeling much more lighthearted, much more playful, much more um, in that kind of high vibration energy, Aquarius, where you thrive, where you're creative. And I'm, I'm seeing too the, the Page of Cups message here. This can be new love coming in for you. This can be a love coming in that feels good, that's playful, that's not limited. There's a lot of room for growth here uh, with Page of Cups energy. There's room for this page to grow all the way into king energy. So allow that offer to come in. Allow yourself to have fun with it and to remember there's always enough. So if you're not resonating with this lover, cut them out. Let them know that they're not in alignment with you and there is always enough. Um, but for those of you that this person coming in does resonate, let it grow. Let it mature. Let it, you know, run its course. And as you shift letting go of focusing on what didn't work or what isn't working, you know, the more negative focus here, everything is going to open up for you, Aquarius. I'm seeing openings in love. I'm seeing openings in your creative energy and projects. I'm seeing a lightness in your energy coming in. It's almost like you're show. I'm getting an imagery of you like bouncing on a trampoline because you just have so much like energy that's going to be coming through you and you're not going to know where to put it. So uh, you may be exercising more. You may be wanting to be outdoors more, maybe you're wanting to be more social more, but you're you're moving out of any hermit mode that you have been in, uh, which is beautiful. So with this new moon in Pisces on the 10th, plant your seeds, plant your desires, give away, you know, any thoughts or beliefs that are limiting or that are of lack because you've got the koi fish spirit here. There is always enough. Um, I'm actually not feeling guided to clarify any of that. That feels very clear. So you do have um, a lot of fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries that you may be dealing with. Um, I'm also seeing water, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Okay, and then we do have strong Virgo energy with this Hermit card. That King of Swords, that is all you, Aquarius. So I'm not seeing that as other air signs around you. Although, I mean, it is a general reading, so it could be, but I really see that as you. The, the energies around you are fire and water and Virgo. <laughs> the one Earth, one Earth sign Virgo with the Hermit card. Let me get you another message. Beautiful. Oh, Aquarius, you've got self-acceptance. So this is such a beautiful message with um, the other messages that have been coming through because as you accept your abundance and you accept your high vibe energy and you accept all the beautiful things that the universe wants to bring in, you're accepting like your highest level of self. And with that, 
let's go of lack, let's go of limitation, let's go, let's go of, you know, this way or that way, yes or no, good or bad. It lets go of the polarity and it allows in true abundance. So, you know, what parts of yourself can you accept more that is gonna, you know, let go of maybe limiting or more negative energies in your space. And this is all gonna align with this beautiful expansion and abundance that is coming in for you. Beautiful energy, oh my goodness. All right, let's get you a spirit animal. <laughs> this is amazing, Aquarius. So as we're talking about, you know, your personal power and opportunity and stepping into who you are, of course you would get the personal choice spirit animal card. You're not even being told by spirit what, <laughs> what your animal is. It is your opportunity to bring in that message for yourself. So it says, close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace those qualities. I love this Aquarius. Leave me a comment below of what animal you see as your spirit animal for the first two weeks of March. I would love, love, love to see that. I do read all the comments, by the way, and I also respond. So you've got whatever this animal is for you, guiding you and protecting you. Um, through mid-March. And I'm going to end on that message. I hope this resonates, Aquarius. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, any other placement of Aquarius um, in your chart. And I'm wishing you a beautiful start to March. Uh, again, if you're interested in any of the services that I offer, they all are all linked below. If you need an energy clearing or balancing, if you'd like a personal, a more personalized tarot reading, all of that info is down there, okay, as well as a discount for you as a first-time client. So remember, the new moon is in Pisces on the 10th. So that's a powerful time. It opens eclipse season. I will be posting more uh, more videos around eclipse season and, and dates and important messages for that. But until then, Aquarius, I'm wishing you a beautiful start to March. And I'll see you guys back here for the second half of March readings. Take care.